Hi, I'm Kelsey. And in high school, I was voted most likely to get hit by a parked car. Now, although I never did get hit by a parked car, there was one thing that did take a major hit. That was my self-esteem. You, you see, you see, back then, I was living with undiagnosed ADHD. I was different. Well, now I'm here to show you that we are never done learning and growing despite our challenges and our differences. So what do you say? You want to come learn with me? Let's go! Pickles! Hey, Kelsey. How are you? I'm good. I'm just uh, watching some TV. Oh, yeah. I like TV. Yeah, me too. But I like... I like movies <gasps> more. You have a movie? I do have a movie. Oh, we could watch a movie. Yeah, it's a little scary, though. That's okay. I like scary movies. Me too. It's fun to be scared sometimes. Yeah. So, uh, I have an idea, though. What's your idea? What if we tried to make it like the theater experience? Ooh. We could make some popcorn. <gasps> I like popcorn. We could get some candy. <gasps> yeah. And we could turn off all the lights. <laughs> No! Well, why? Pickles! I'm scared of the dark. But there's nothing to be afraid of. I don't know about that. Well, there's... Usually there's nothing to be afraid of. Monsters? Oh, well, yeah. Hmm. Wait. What if you could defend yourself against monsters? Yeah, right. No, you could. You could take a self-defense class. A self Defense class. Yeah, and they could teach you how to punch the darkness right in the darkness. <gasps> yeah. I love that plan. Yes. Pickles. Okay. I gotta start standing up for myself more often. Exactly. I can't be scared of everything in life. No. No. Hmm. I know just the guy. Do you? Yeah, let Perfect. me get my phone. Oh, I'm changing the channel. Oh, no. Weird. Hello, Mike? Mike Lapierre? Are you the instructor for Jiu-Jitsu in Kamloops? You are? Do you have any spots available for self-defense? You do? Today? Cool. I'd like to buy one ticket for a self-defense class, please. Great. Thanks so much. Power. I did it! Yay! First step to self-improvement. That's great. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Kelsey. I'm so excited to not be scared. Yeah. Okay. Pickles, how about you go make the popcorn? Okay. And I will go better myself now. Have fun! Okay, bye. Kelsey it's with Kelsey Learns, and I am here at Valley Jiu Jitsu. This is Mike Lafier. He is the head coach of Valley Jiu Jitsu. This is Jess, and she will be our. Oh, I already forgot. It. <laughs> I forgot the name. Okay. 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 It's a it's a term for she's she's my practice dummy today. I don't think she's dumb. I think she's quite smart. But <laughs> that's what that's the name of what she's doing. So. Um, her and I will be working together and we'll be learning self-defense today. Um, but I want to ask Mike, like how long have you been doing this for? Uh, going on to 14 years. Holy, holy crap, dude, that's a long time. Yeah. Like, that's really cool. And you own this place. Yes. That's amazing. Um, why did you choose this like path and career? Uh, it was about one of the only things that could keep my attention. <laughs> I originally I started understand that. because I wanted to fight, and then yeah? I had uh, several MMA fights, and I got tired of getting punched in the head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. So I just really enjoyed the grappling aspect of it, and yeah, yeah started training and never looked back. And then that's amazing. Started coaching for this gym during the daytime because I was working nights. Yeah. And my coach at the time, he wanted. Just had some stuff going on that he wanted to 
you know, sell the gym and he asked me if I wanted to buy it. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. That was 14 years ago you bought this place. No, no, I, it was six years ago I bought it. Oh, well, yeah. congrats. Like, that's a big step. And that's, yeah, that's, that's a really amazing. I bet it's really rewarding, too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I love it. It's, uh, it's definitely cool seeing people's progress. Yeah. We start from, like, not knowing anything about the sport to crushing colored belts in competitions. <laughs> Nice. Is, uh, yeah. She is she a champion? Hey, she, she's done two competitions and she's uh, beat a couple of, like higher up belts that she definitely shouldn't have beat. <laughs> That's awesome. And you're you're only 27 years old. Like, how long have you been doing this? Um, I started about 10, 11 months ago now. Back in February. I thought you were gonna say years ago. No. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. You're quite athletic, though. You're also um, you're a hockey player. Yes, yeah. Oh, okay. I played sports cool. my whole life. Oh, nice. Yeah. This one's really clicked for me. Nice. Lately, I've been really enjoying it. Why did you decide to do this? Um, I don't know. The world's kind of a scary place sometimes, and it's. I just think it's really important to know how to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has definitely given me a lot more confidence in that aspect, but also every aspect of my life. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like. Let's get started. I don't know. I don't know what's in, involved in learning self defense. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just get started. Um, we're gonna we're gonna work first from a position called mount. Okay. Uh, so okay. We'll uh, we'll move into this space here. Yeah. So um, if somebody's sitting on top of me trying to hurt me, uh, first off, uh, go ahead, sit up. Okay. Hey, anybody who's uh, been in like a high school fight has probably ended up in this position. It's a terrible place to be. So first thing I'd want to do is to bring her weight forward. So I'm going to lift my hips and I'm going to push her forward with my knee. Okay. Oh. Now, if her hands are on the mat, they're not punching me. Right. Now I want to take one of her arms, bring it into my chest, trap the foot, put my head on the mat. Here can roll. And then lift it. Oops. The microphone came. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and then I'd love to try and escape that, that situation. Okay. So don't lay flat, get your arms in, okay? And bring your elbows inside, okay? Okay, bring your knees close, or your feet closer to you, okay? Now you're gonna bridge and push her forward with your knee. Good, grab onto that arm with both hands, step over her leg, nope, other leg. <laughs> okay, now bridge as high as you can and roll okay. to your right. Okay. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Good. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's just a basic mount escape. We call it a bridge and roll mount escape. Bridge um, and roll mount escape. Yeah. It, it, it's super effective in self-defense situations. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go over a couple um, a couple scenarios from there okay. that are more realistic to uh, maybe a self-defense situation. Okay. One where she's got her, her my hands pinned down. Okay. My cousins used to do this to me when I was a kid. And then they would spit in your mouth, right? <laughs> no, they just dangle it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So this time when I bridge, I'm gonna throw my hands down to my feet. Okay? Oh, so I'm gonna sure. So I'm gonna get a nice powerful bridge, so I'm gonna bring my hips as high as I can go. Okay. And just throw my hands down. Oh. Okay. Again, grabbing yeah. onto the arm, bridge roll, and now we're out of that position. Huh. And yeah, so big bridge and then throw your hands to your feet. Good. Now grab her arm with both hands. Good. Step over her leg, bridge and oh, like. <laughs> Excellent work. That was my first chick fight. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> now this works for uh, several scenarios. So what's this called? Uh, this is this is the same thing. Oh, okay. Uh, it, now this time, if she's maybe got her hands on my neck and did a more serious situation. Okay. Okay. It, all I have to do is uh, trap her arm and bridge and roll, and I'm still gonna uh, bridge her forward first, because uh, with her hands on my neck, yeah. if she doesn't address her getting bridged forward, she's gonna hit her face on the mat. Face face. Yeah. We call it a face face. Okay. <laughs> okay. So go ahead, put your hands on my neck. I'm gonna bridge you forward. 
Okay. Huh. Same technique, different yep. situation. Okay. okay. So like Homer Simpson to Bart. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. And then, sorry, so I'm... Knees up so that you can bridge. Mm -hmm. So bridge her forward, then trap her arm. Good. No. no, trap her arm first. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good. Bridge and roll. Excellent. Thanks. Cool. This is fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So it, those are all the uh, basic mount escapes I wanted to go over. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to look at the guard. What? Is this costume change? Uh, no, the gi is the uniform that we wear. So there's two types of jiu-jitsu. There's uh, gi jiu-jitsu where we wear these. Okay. And then there's no gi jiu-jitsu where it's just what I'm wearing right now. So what's the purpose of this? Uh, we use the gi for leverage. Uh, if you see any judo matches, if you watch the Olympics at all, yeah, I'm you see them this. like throwing the throwing each other around using oh. this, using the collars and sleeve. Okay. In jiu jitsu, it, there there is some stand up that we do because all matches start standing, but we mostly use this for leverage on the ground and to get strangles. Okay. Nice. So um, there's a big emphasis over here, Jess. On the guard. So what the guard is, is I'm controlling her hips with my legs. Okay, so this is called closed guard. My ankles are closed behind her Closed back. guard, okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is called a cross collar choke. And then I'll show you how we can do that. It'll do it with a t-shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'll move Jess's hair out of the way so I don't <laughs> pull on her little hairs there. Okay, I'm gonna take a palm up grip and I'm gonna try and grab the tag. There's a tag back here. I'm going to try and get my hand deep enough to grab that tag and I'm going to use my knees to move her this way and grab right over her shoulder here. Now I'm going to pull both elbows into my ribs and put my head to this grip. It's called a cross collar choke. Okay? And if you get that in a, in a uh, Jiu Jitsu match, you win the match. Hmm. Um, why? Why what? Why do you win if you get that in the, in the match? Because you submitted them. You caused oh. them to tap out. Or if you pass out, but I probably don't want to do that. No, it, it's probably, not ideal. probably not. Not ideal. No. Um, so I get a deep, deep cross collar grip. I go up, try and get to the tag. Sorry, just my hands are cold. Okay. okay. I'm going to pull her forward with my knees and move her body out this way. Then I'm going to grab right onto this little flap of fabric here. And I'm going to pull everything towards me and I'm going to do a crunch. Huh. <laughs> Hardcore. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like you're doing much, but it, it works. Feels yeah, like on my end. <laughs> it looks easier than it is. Yeah. Okay. So. So you're going to cross your ankles around her waist. That's right. Okay. Now you're going to get a, uh, <clears throat> a, we call this a cross collar grip. So you're going to get palm up. Right here. With this hand? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And get closer to her neck with it. Good. Okay. And you want this part of your hand turned towards her neck. Okay. Oh, now that's you, awkward. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a super strong grip, though. Very effective. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to turn your knees towards me and pull them in so that you can reach this side. Okay. And you're going to grab as close to her neck as possible. Like underneath over, again? Not, not inside. No. You can just oh. grab right here over. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to pull your knees to your chest, pull your elbows to your ribs, and do a crunch. Yeah, and, and squeeze with your arms like this. Okay, so here. Okay, so you're... Uh, you're Am I not doing little, it? You're just giving a little space. Oh. Okay. I'm not choking enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill her. I like her. She'll tap. <laughs> no, you well, can you do just that. let go when she taps. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, now and pull in with your knees, elbows into your ribs. And squeeze her neck. A little bit of space on that side, Jess. Okay. It's just this face here. Okay. Uh, we need this grip deeper, 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 deeper. Ow. Hold on tight. Okay. Now, same thing. And when we squeeze, pull your elbows into your ribs. Good. <laughs> pull your knees in. Yeah, she's just she's just about to tap. Okay. Like yeah. It does take a little bit of force. Yeah, I guess. It works very nicely. Um, do you find that your students are like scared to hurt the other student? No, they're not. 
no. No, well, uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of discipline and control that goes into this. Yeah. Uh, and we emphasize safety as well. Yeah. So like, in uh, in here, the, the, some submissions aren't allowed until you're a certain level, and that makes like, sense. Yeah, yeah. Like hmm. submissions that wreck your knees, you new new people in white belts aren't allowed to. Uh, oh, okay. Do that. Right. Yeah. So the next one we're going to go over is a, uh, a triangle choke, okay? Ooh. So you got long, thin legs. This is... Thank you. The kind of, yeah, well, this is, those are ideal for triangle chokes. Okay. Okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, trap her arm and her head in my legs, and then my legs are going to make a triangle. Okay. okay. So I'm going to push one hand up to her armpit, pull one towards me, and I'm going to throw this leg over her neck. And I'm going to put my, my uh, ankle behind my knee. And I'm going to pull my knees into my chest and squeeze. Okay. Think you can handle that? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I already forgot what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. okay. We'll walk you through it. So okay. this. So get a hold of her wrists. We're going to grab both her wrists. Okay. You're going to punch that one in, pull this one towards you. And you're going to throw this leg over her shoulder so you got to lift your hips wait how do i do that yeah just like that and pull this knee in a little bit more okay and then yeah. put that you got to get rid of this hand get it behind your legs okay so now you're going to get this ankle mm -hmm. behind your knee here good okay and so her shoulder's still in it but that's okay don't worry about this hand anymore just grab the back of her head okay <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> okay. So you want to really lock that up. Okay. Now squeeze with your legs and pull down on her head. There you go. <laughs> your first triangle choke. Yay. Excellent. Okay. okay. So now what? So now we're going to do some uh, stand up defense. I'm going to do a double leg takedown first. Okay. So uh, Jess is just going to stand right in front of the mat. All right. Uh, normally an attacker would be standing like that or somebody throwing a punch. This, this takedown works really nice if somebody's trying to throw a punch at you because um, basically you just slip the punch and drive them into the ground. And generally, if you hit somebody with the ground, they're going to leave you alone. <laughs> I love that phrase, hit somebody with the ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's called tripping, I thought. <laughs> hit yourself with the ground. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, Jess, you can actually go into like more realistic like combat stance kind of. Okay, so um, Jess is uh, in a uh, orthodox stance with her left hand forward, all right? So if she's maybe trying to throw a punch at me, okay, I'm gonna change levels. Go ahead, you can throw. <laughs> I'm gonna change levels and then I'm gonna shoot in. Oh, that's fun. Like that. <laughs> yeah, you kick her butt. Yeah. <laughs> get her. Okay, okay. Whoosh. Come right, get so me. Are you, um, you right-handed or left-handed? I'm a lefty. So lead with your left leg then, okay? Uh, grapplers lead with their strong side so that when we uh, grab onto a collar or a collar tie or something, that's our strong hand breaking the posture down. Oh, okay. So this is your strong hand, that's the side you lead with. All right, we'll do it without the punch first, <laughs> just so she can get, uh, get some uh, reps in, okay? So you're gonna step forward with your lead leg, okay? You're gonna squat, Put your front knee to the ground and tackle her legs at the same time. So drive forward now. And then like around uh, just or below. below her butt. Okay, and then, and then where does my head go? Like in her tummy? Uh, head will go right on the outside here. Okay, and just like just move forward yeah, and push her? Yeah, just drive forward. <laughs> I okay. cracked my neck. Oh no. <laughs> okay. uh, You're supposed to crack your neck when you do that? Well, it's the free chiropractic adjustment. Oh. <laughs> You get some people who keep keeping chiropractors in business for years. Okay, <laughs> try again? Yep. Oh, oh I did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just hugged her funny. <laughs> okay, so make sure you go like you're wrapping your arms below her yeah. waist. Or below her hips, sorry. Okay. okay. So step forward with your lead leg, squat, front knee goes to the ground and drive forward. That's right. <laughs> Can I try with my other, like... The other side? Yeah, the right side. Can. I don't know. I'm just a little funny like that. Okay. Ready? Yeah. 
Okay. Hit me. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I feel like that was more comfortable for me. It looked a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Neck feels better that way too. <laughs> hmm. So maybe it's more right then. Okay. Yeah. And so no. what was that called again? That's just a double leg takedown. A double leg takedown. Yeah. Got it. Um, now the last thing we're going to do is a shoulder throw. Now this is a little more advanced, but you're doing you're doing well. So <laughs> I think you can do it. Okay. Um, so. Jess, you're gonna stand here. This is the throw that we uh, we demoed with. Okay, uh, so this one works nice as well if somebody throws a punch at you because you're gonna keep your hands up. So throw with your uh, right. Okay, I'm gonna grab her wrist. I'm gonna do a 180 and turn my hips towards her, and I'm gonna bring my arm underneath her shoulder. Okay, and as I do that, I'm getting nice and low. Okay, it's hard to do this slow. Okay. I'm getting nice and low. I'm bringing my head down and my hips up. Cool. <laughs> okay. Do you want to see? Yeah. So you're gonna stand right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and we won't worry about the punch. Jess will just put her arm out there. So you're gonna grab her wrist with this hand on the outside, like or on the inside, like this. Okay. You're gonna shoot this arm under her shoulder and turn the back of your hips towards her. Good, now squat down, push your hips in. Now, pull her arm forward and put your head down and your hips up. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> that was a, it's a solid first attempt, yeah, that was good. Yeah, it's hard to do slow, I think, eh? It is, it yeah. is, you really gotta like full send it. Hmm. You can whip me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you're a tough chick. Okay, so, so uh, like that. Wrist, yeah. Okay. Shoot that under, put your hips right against hers, squat down. Wait, like that? Yeah, pull her arm forward and then head down. Oh, hold on. You want your feet in line with each other. Oh. Okay, so turn your feet more. More, 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 more. Good. Now push <laughs> your is... hips into her, head down, hips up. That's not bad. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Those are all the. Uh, self-defense techniques I have for today. Really? Yeah. It's not just a one-day class, though. I'm no. sure it's like, yeah, ongoing. I no, would, yeah, yeah. Everyone's consistently training. Oh, yeah. that's cool. I would love to join. Um, so if someone is interested in joining, how mm. would they join? Do you have a website, or do they just come to your uh, place? Or? Yeah, they can go to our website, uh, www.valleybjj.ca. Okay. And then all my contact information is on there. They'll contact me and then uh, we'll get them in for a free trial class. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Like, I, I, uh, I can't say enough of how thankful I am to, to learn this. And um, yeah, I, you know, maybe I can bring my camera back here and, and next time I'm here and, and, you know, film me progressing and getting better. And That'd I don't be know. Awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I would love to do that. Hey, Kelsey. Hey. You're back. Yes, I am back. How's How the TV show you're watching? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'm ready to watch the scary movie. All right. With all the lights <gasps> on. That's exciting. Yeah. So you, you feel better about yourself? You feel uh, more confident about the darkness? I do. And I also feel more resilient against monsters. That's great. Mm -hmm. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, what did you learn? So many things. Yeah? It's a lot to talk about. Wow. Could you, like, show me one, maybe? Hmm. How about I do my most favorite move? Yeah, that's On you. Fun. Yeah. On yeah. me, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 But we are best friends, right? Right. Okay, so don't take it personally. No. But I'm going to kick your butt. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll just pretend that I'm walking in a dark alley. And I'm a monster. Yeah. Yeah. The ones that I'm scared of. The ones that are going to be on the movie tonight. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 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 Ready? Here we go. All right. Okay, so I'm walking, walking, walking. Roar. <sighs> Roar. I can do this. Okay, yeah. Roar. Uh, Roar. This is our show. This is our show. The more you watch, the more you know. Wee! Fun times! <laughs> <laughs>
Uh. Caution! Eclectic! <laughs> <laughs>